Well, hi. Today I'm going to be doing some, I guess to be equivalent of inking. I'm doing a cleanup of my pencil uh, sketch of um, these panels. This was the original, let's see, where are they? Where is it? Where is it? I have it here somewhere. And, well, here's an example of what the page Look, looks like you know with with the lettering and just full size same size here and this is how I would how I would you know rough out the drawing the page and, and layout and get very explicit in particular with the acting and I blow it up by almost one and a half times to this size you can see here I just what I've done is Xeroxed it you know to blew it blow it up in color and go in levels and then I'll tape it up registration and then I would clean I would draw on a separate sheet of paper uh, and be very 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 um, that's the word um, specific, very tight with my pencils here in blue pencil under draw. So I'm just going to lay down a um, black lines on these. And that's what today is going to be all about. Maybe I have a little jazz in the background here. But let's see, okay. I have some, as you see, this is a, this is a, a glass platen. That's my animation board here. And I'll run maybe three sheets of paper to cushion the pencil line. Because sometimes it break, you know, the pencil gets really, really crumbly if it goes up against a hard surface. So anyway, Let's, let's start just kind of softly roughing down this blue line until it's almost invisible. Now, I know where I've worked it really hard, and it's uh, some people say, Why? Wow, what did you do? Why did you do that? Well, it's um I know where where the where the drawings are I where the line is and what I want to do and I've I've started molding the underdraw and it's um it's just the way I've been doing it since I'd say close to 40 yeah really 40 years of, uh, of animation and doing animation drawings so we can say here it's almost uh, almost wiped out but you can still see where what I intended to do at least I can see so, using my Black Wing 602. So let's get started on this here. I'll start with just an, like to work with the dries, the eyes first, just so that I know that, that they're all focused when you have two characters make sure that they're actually looking at each other. Surprise. 
problem that I see a lot of, or at least for me, it's one of the hardest things to do, is to do is to focus their eyes. Yes, okay. Eyebrows here. Now these are two older guys. And so they're going to have my style of bushy eyebrow. Now... He's probably in his 60s, and uh, and actually, Mr. N, or Namas, is actually a few hundred years old, but in his shape here, he's about the old in his uh, early 50s. And so, let's see. This is Professor Blockhead here. That's his name, Professor Blockhead. That was a, when I was designing Professor Blockhead. I remember, I'm taking him from a memory of a, prof, of a uh, TV, early, early TV talk show for kids. It was called, and I remember it as Mr. Wizard. Now, maybe it's not him, but I remember this, a guy who would do science experiments on TV, and he show teach you the the principles of of uh, of uh, science and physics, and chemistry. I thought he was Mister Wizard. I think that's what I remember him. But it appears that there was another person doing the exact same thing, and he goes by or he went by the name Professor uh, Mister Wizard also. Anyway. Uh, but this is in the early 1950s, and it was, I think it was, it would have been local TV here in the, in the, rather in the New York viewing area. There's a real touch of Gabby Hayes here with, um. Mr. Namas. He's got a... He's kind of a... Beret... Oh, I don't know what kind of a... Cap it is. It's kind of like a newsboy cap, but it's also got an old pom-pom on the top and... For some reason, I think of him as being a French-Canadian fur trapper with his feather. Hmm. 
So you can see I try to use this as a pencil as a almost like a a brush and a pen, an ink pen. That's what I like about erasing or cleaning up in pencil. I can erase. Now, where the this takes place, at least this particular adventure, it's in a a school uh, where Nikki Nartson is, uh, is uh, attends. It's a uh, an old kind of a academy. People, you know, kids are 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 there, and it's almost like a a, a British school. So there's a touch of uh, Harry Potter in the the system, but it's more. I think of it more as going to. Uh, my high school in New York, which was a Jesuit military school, it's called Xavier. It's still around. It's been around for actually, let's see, a hundred and what, a hundred and seventy years. So, I uh, they and those um, the uh, the teachers wore these uh, gowns over their suits and uh, it was very similar to what you'd see in Oxford you know that it's, again it would it had its uh, it was quite unique I don't know if they do they still wear the um, the teachers wear those those these gowns but we were all Junior ROTC, so it was a military school, and uh, ah, break that point. So, in many ways, I had a, had a teacher who was kind of like you know that age. That was uh, Mr. Donovan, I think his name was. It was a Latin teacher. And uh, so we, we had uh, the school that, as I said, Xavier was a very, it was a Jesuit military school. Uh, we, uh, we didn't sleep there. We rode the subways back and forth. But we were called the subway commandos. And... Uh, But we had, was it, um, four years of Latin, math, science, English, and electives. It was a, it was it was definitely a college preparatory school for you know, liberal arts, and you could go. You had a had a really solid. Uh, academic um, training and uh, it was a very, very small school we had in the entire year the June, my freshman year we had about 214 total and every year they you know people kids would and it was it was an old boys school boys would uh, they would 
classmates, they would, they, a lot of them left. They just couldn't, they didn't like it. So not everybody stayed. But it had, for, for their, for, by, by the time you get through senior year, you basically, it had a graduation rate of, or at least college acceptance rate of about, let's see, tie here. Okay, here's the tie. Um, of like 95%, 99%. Um, would get into pretty much the college that maybe not of their first choice, but it was a high, you, you got into college. So anyway, here we are. I'm going to start working on the, now I draw in my, I'm drawing the balloons on the same panel. I'm not doing as a separate thing unless there's an overlap from one panel to another. But see, I just like the feeling of actually getting the balloons on the paper, on the page itself, on the panel, and not do a separate level. I don't I don't see a need for that. This en enables me to have a a nice feel. A rough feel. I don't like the I don't like the uh, balloons that are so oh they're so it's so perfect. Let's see what am I looking for here? Okay, come on. Where are the oh yeah okay. I'm gonna lay down here. <laughs> This here, so my my hand doesn't um, doesn't smudge the pencil line that's underneath it. That's what we did at um, as an animator. We used to do that. You know, if it was if the the pencil line was too soft, I didn't want to smear anything. So. carry on on the next panel okay. how to do this here I'm going to stop at a moment here and just show you this. The idea of this page is an explanation, or we a reveal that uh, that. Let's see here. Okay. The uh, the character of Mr. Namas. He's uh, the janitor of the place, but he's also the wizard, uh, and he also owns the uni the uh, the uh, the academy and he's he can, he's a shapeshifter as you can see he changes into the headmaster the headmaster in in in, in uh, some of these schools who is basically the principal of uh, of the school so I'm trying to give a feeling of a sinister science teacher the janitor Here's uh, just, you know, uh, Nicky Nardson, who's our hero, uh, discovering that his wizard is also the janitor who can shape shift into uh, the principal. And, uh, and so there's a lot going on in this page, <laughs> but we're setting up and this is page five of, of uh, this particular story. So let's carry on here. Um, 
Anyway, the, the gesturing is indicate for the Mr. Nam, uh, Namas, Mr. N. He uh, he's been clearing. He's been uh, wa washing the floor and. Uh, Professor Blockhead wants to pass by. The uh, the genesis of this uh, of this wizard character of mine is one of the first. Actually, is the second character I ever designed as an animator for him my for my personal projects going back oh 50 what is it now 44 years ago 46 47 years ago so I'm glad to be able to use him again At the time, I had uh, this wizard character, Mr. Namas. He was um, he smoked a, a cigar. So, but I'm not going to go that far today. Even though this is a uh, an independently produced, published comic. I like drawing feathers. <laughs> so here we are. There's a lot of influence on my part for drawing like this from the way um, Will Eisner would be loose with his his jackets and his uh, his coat and putting in little little hashtag uh, hash marks and and just just a little it was just very just very very loose. Don't think I need to worry about, you know, being exact. So, here. I'm trying to. Trying to always make the hands work as a gesture and something like holding the uh, his mop curling the fingers around around the, the mop handle. Uh. 
and when I draw the, when I scan this it will the uh, certain amount of uh, of uh, gray will drop out okay now just to be a little different from having it just as a you know uh, so of just having four fingers holding it tight I'm trying to be very loose with his, his thumb and his gesture and uh, like this here so now we've got a him holding his mop handle just a very very easy attitude That line will drop out. Namas, Mr. Namas has bow legs, kind of a Gabby Hayes attitude. He wears uh, his, his shorts. Uh, he's got socks and he wears Birkenstocks. And he wear uh, again. He's uh, he's a sock and sandal man. I wear Birkenstocks and I've been wearing I've been wearing slippers for work for 40 some odd years <laughs> even when I was uh, working at other studios and and not at home I would wear I would wear sandals house shoes while while I worked I was just an act. I just had that idiosyncrasy, and I always left those shoes at work, and that was fine. I just nobody stole them from me from my work area. 
But it was a different time. I don't know what you would do today. And his mop. And that's his wet spot there. And so here we are, we're going to do a little face here with uh, Dr. Blockhead. I'm just going to, a little texture on the wood, on the pan. Okay, let's get this here. So, texture on his uh, the eyebrows back here while oh, I'm remembering. thing I like about black wings once again they're very they're soft but they're solid I mean that they, they as I know that doesn't seem right but they the amount of graphite and then and then um, clay that they use that's used in the formula allows me to have you know a nice thick and thin line but at the same time allows the point to remain nice and sharp. And it and the the point does not crumble. Now, fingers that he's holding, he's clasping his fingers. And so, his thumbs are intertwined. That's one of the things about uh, about these these academic um, gowns. There gives they're all it gives them a gives everybody a wizardy kind of um, feel. Oh, get the feet. 
feeling a little little um, reflection on the on the wet area. And oh. And do a little shading here, a little crossing. And that's what we're going to do for today. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching how I go through this. And, um, and um, hope you don't mind my nattering on about high school. But at least I was trying to give you an idea of where some of my thoughts how do I come up with some of my ideas? And everybody's got influences. And uh, I'm using a bit of mine from my high school days and grammar school days, actually, too, to give you uh, to give a feeling for what it was like and what my kid with the characters, how they're going to react. And um, so anyway. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope you enjoy this video. And um, I will try and um, and when I when I put this up, at least the first time around, I will try and be at uh, in the chat room. So anyway, you take care, and bye.